Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a table in HTML and how to style it with CSS. So what I'm going to do now is that inside of my body tag, I'm going to use the table tag. So when you create a table, you will need to start with this tag all right so we have our table tag there then we are going to think of how many rows do we want so for example so I can say table row just like that all right so that's one row we have and then I'm going to copy this and paste it a couple of times so let's have two more rows so that's one there this is the second row and this is the third row so inside of our table row right here we are going to add some table data. So the table data goes like this, so TD, all right? So you type in TD, just like that. So for example, I'm gonna type in time. So I'm gonna type in time and I'm gonna save it. So now, if I add that there, you'll notice that it doesn't even look like a table. So it will look like a table as we move on, just be patient. So we have the time there, then I'm going to copy that TD and paste it a couple of times underneath it. So this will be the time. So this will be, for example, Saturday. This one will be Sunday. I'm going to just put all of the days here. So we have all of our days there. So now in the next row, we are going to add time. So for example, I'm going to say so this is the row underneath it. So the time, so I'm going to add the TD right here as a table data there. So I'm gonna say time, let's say 10 a.m. So 10 a.m., all right? So 10 a.m., so on Saturday, 10 a.m., there is no class. So I'm going to say TD, no class. So you'll notice that we have 10 a.m. There is no class on Saturday. Then on Sunday also there is no class. So I'm just going to copy this TD and paste it there. So on Sunday there is no class. Then I'm going to say uh, 10 a.m. For example, Monday there is the math class. So math class every day. So every day. We have the math class. So as you know, we have our table there. So now you might be asking, well, it doesn't even look at, like a table. Yeah, it doesn't look like a table because we don't have a border. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go to the next one. So this one will be the third row. So this one. So 11 a.m. There is no class on Sunday and and other days, so no class. And every other day, we have the music class. So I'm gonna type in music. So music, so music class, and I'm gonna just copy this text and paste it here. So we are just populating our table. Now, we are going to the other row, then 12 a.m. For example, we can continue this. So, so this will be TD. I'm going to copy my TDs from the other table row, and I'm going to paste it here just to save the time. This will be 12 p.m. So 12 p.m. So on Sunday, food for kids. All right. so for kids and on Sunday also we have food for kids and on other days at 12 p.m. we just go to the history class so history class so I'm gonna copy it and just change this music so instead of music class this will be history class all right so let me just replace it quickly so now we have a table here but our table, you know, doesn't look like a table because we need to add an attribute called the border. So border equals to then two quotations. So I can say one. So this is with HTML. 
And if we save it, you'll notice that this is our table and we have a table there. And if we expand our browser, you'll notice that our table is aligned to the left. So to align it to the center, so what we are going to do to center the table is that we are going to use the style attribute right here. So I'm going to maximize this. So style attribute is that margin dash left auto and margin dash right auto. So now if we save it and if we refresh the browser, you will notice that if we expand it, our table is perfectly centered. So now let's say that I want the time and the days to be bolder. So to do that, instead of TD right here, I'm going to change this to TH. So TH and this will be the table header. So TH, slide that in. All right, so I'm just uh, changing these ones to TH. So let me just do it quickly. So TH, TH, just like that. So, and now let's save it and refresh it. You'll notice that they are bold now and they are centered. So now we have a table there. So now let's say that we want to style this with CSS. So instead of this border right here, I'm going to delete that border attribute. All right. And inside of the head, I'm going to type my style tag. And I'm going to start styling my table. So I'm going to minimize this. And as you notice, we are back to no borders. We have no border now. So let me just uh, make this smaller so you can see it. All right, so now inside of the head, we can say table, for example, because we have one table. And I'm going to open two colored braces. And I'm going to say border, colon. So for example, I can say, how thick do I want my table to be? So I want it to be five pixels, all right? Then I'm going to say, what color do I want my table to be? So I'm going to say green, yellow. Then I'm going to put a space there. And now we can say what kind of border do we want? So we want it to be solid. So solid, all right? So now if I save it, you'll notice that I have a border, but it's outside of my table. It's not inside, it's like the other one. So we are going to the next line. Then we are going to say, table then we are going to say so table tr td all right so we have selected the table then we went to the table row and then we said table data so td so now let's add the same border style to that so i'm going to paste it here and save it so now you'll notice that we have border there but I'm going to change this to one pixels all right so one pixel and this one also I'm going to change it to two pixels so now we have a nicer table so we have styled our basic table now let's say that I want to align the text to center so to do that so basically we can add the text align here so I'm going to say text dash align colon center so save it you will notice that your text will be centered and now you might be asking well there is no border around the table header so to do that what you do is that you are going to copy this table trtd and you are going to paste it underneath it and then right here instead of td you are going to change it to th because this one is a table header and we are going to open two colored braces and I'm going to copy that border style and I'm going to paste it here. So now you'll notice that we have a border around the table header as well. So now let's say that we want to change the color of our table header. So we can say color colon. Let's go with crimson. Save it. Now we have a nice crimson colored. All right, everyone. So now we have created a basic table and uh, 
I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions don't forget to ask me in the comments below. So thank you for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. So enjoy coding and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.